What's up guys? Zach and Scott here yet again. We are going to play a 1v1 out here in Pine Hills. Langsburg, we, Michigan. Yep, Langsburg, Michigan. There are two ball golf courses out here, so we get to have fun with the golf carts, and they're both 18-hole courses. We are going to start with the blue course, which I think is the one that's a little bit harder. So, okay. And we're going to play for a disc yep. again. Yep. Or lunch. Should we do lunch? We could do lunch. Lunch works better today. We're going to play for lunch. On the first round. So Because there's only the a subway round. around here to eat at, so we're going to go play for a subway. Yep, subway it is. Yep, onward. <laughs> there are two disc golf courses to go with the two ball golf courses you mentioned. There. You were like, there are two ball golf courses. Did I say two ball golf yeah. courses? There's two disc golf courses. Not, there's also two ball golf courses, but we're playing disc golf, so there's two of those as well. <laughs> My first right. today, or are we flipping for it? We can flip for it, yeah, let's flip for it. Here. All right, Zach, call it in the air. Here you go, tails never fails. <laughs> it never fails. It fails it is. <laughs> Hole one is a par four at 560 feet. It is very far and it's going to play tough because there's a uh, pretty good headwind right now. But you go up this fairway, follow the left side, and it ends up over there on the other side of that tree line. You just want to get out there pretty much as far as you can. You can end up more on the right side. You have a much clearer opening at the basket. Zach has a Opto Gladiator. Yep. I'm gonna throw something a little, little more stable to fight the headwind and just try to get out there as far as I can. Oh dang! That's way on the right side. Zach stayed in front of the shot quite a bit, but he yeah. finished over by that rock area, probably short of that rock though. All right, I'm gonna go with a biofusion enforcer. Same concept into the headwind. I'm gonna try and throw it flat, let it hyzer, let it flip up a little bit, ride to the right, and hopefully finish back to the left in the middle, or maybe even on the right side a little. Oh, that's in the water. And gone forever. Oh, I never turned it. Ooh, that is gone forever. Might be retrievable still. There's a little swampy area over there, but it is not OB. Yeah. Well, here's where Scott ended up. Still got a little work to do, but he's still just going to pitch over the right side. End up over there somewhere. Yep. Same disc, bioenforcer, going to hyzer it and try and go around a little. All right, Zach here, probably 250 to 300 away. In fact, you can even see the top of the basket from here. If we zoom all the way in, it's right there. He appears to be throwing the gladiator again for that same hyzer, hopefully this time. Yeah. Keep it out right and let it skip in. I'm gonna have a hard time following it, but we'll just... Just keep it at the bucket. Go in the bucket. It's right there. It fell right down there. Looks like it's just right of the basket, maybe even a little deep. All right, here's where Scott ended up. Probably about 60 feet. Zach, it was a great kick off the tree. He's no more than 15 feet from the basket. Taps it in his three, which is a birdie on this hole. All right, so hole one. I take a three, which is a birdie. And Scott takes a four, yep. which is still good from where he ended up after his tee shot. And we're being smart because we're actually keeping track of the score on a scorecard. So it's less of a guessing game and we'll know what's actually going on. There it is. And hole two is 275 feet. It is straight across. It's kind of difficult. You got to throw over the ball golf greens. Those are all OB on all golf courses usually because if you hit it with a disc, it could get messed up and that's no good. So OB it is. I'm going to throw a shield right side, basically over that flag stick and let it fade in. Yep, so BT hard shield, a little beat in, maybe a hyzer flip up. It's a little low, it's going to need some help with the green. Slid perfectly across the green, there it is. Putting, just short, maybe 25, 30. Yep. Oh, that's cute. I slipped on my plant. Did you? Yep, a ton. Hmm. It's I a little left, but... I was aiming way more right. Little left, but he can still make that. Here's Scott from eh, about 45, 50, slightly uphill. Zach from 25, maybe 30 at the most, 25 probably. Just off the cage. Couple of threes, scores stay the same. On to the next. And hole three is a par three, 430 feet. It is quite the mash to get up there, but it is reachable. It is just left 
of that pole. Uh, if anything, you want to try to avoid going left. Over there is no good. If you're going to mess up, you want to be over there, but don't think of messing up. Just try to get up there as far as you can. Right, yeah, I'm going to go with the sword and try to hyzer flip it with the tailwind. Just try to get up there as far as I can. Oh, hey. Wow. Early into the bushes. That's going to be a tricky upshot. That will be a tricky upshot. Yeah, so that left side that I said to avoid. Yeah. I'm going to throw a sword as well, but I'm going to go a little more right. <laughs> VIP sword as well. That looks like a great shot. I'll have a long putt from there. Zach is located right there, the yellow disc in the bushes here. I'm going to step out and get a better angle at the basket for you here. Okay, the basket's still up there on the hill. Far away, you think? 275. It does, I mean, just because the uphill. A little left of the basket. Looks like it might have stayed out of the short, long stuff. All right. All right. Here's Scott from probably roughly the same distance as last hole. About Maybe even a little further. 40, 40, 50. So close. Good bid, though. Over the pole. Zach from 45 to 50, quite a bit uphill. What a great three save. Yeah. That was an incredible putt. <laughs> All right, scores stay the same again. I save an awesome three. Great par save for me. <laughs> Barely missed my two. All right, hole four is 398 feet. It is basically a big hyzer. There is a ball golf green that you need to try to avoid. And you want to hyzer in just before that, and then you have these row of trees, and it's on the left side of those trees. It's kind of hard to sneak in there, but you want to throw something that skips a little bit too. Zach will be going with the gladiator. Opto gladiator. Oh. That's a solid line, and I think he might be parked. Same thing, Opto Gladiator, we're gonna give it a go. Oh, a little wide. A little wide, but it could skip in there still. It is still, it's still a putt. That's within that 50 foot range. All right, and here's Scott from that 45, 50 foot range, and he's got a wicked window to try to split. Oh, great line, just a hair short. Zach to clean up his two from no more than 17 to 12 to 17 feet. Nice two. After that hole, I take a birdie, Scott takes a three. I go to one under, Scott stays one over. You're following everything apart three. Yeah, if everything was part three. All right, hole five is another par four. It is 525 feet, slightly downhill, and it is quite the smash. But that bunker right there is fairly reachable with how this hole plays. And then the hole is just past that up into the cove over there. Kind of want to throw something maybe a little understable. Zach, it's looking at a VIP sword. Yeah, pretty understable. We got a strong like tailwind, so I'm just going to try to throw it on a little ante and hope it glides out some. Uh, it's a little higher up. Hmm. I'm going to go with the tournament boatman. Same thing, going to turn it a little bit and let it ride. That looks like a great line. He's uh, he's way out there. Nice shot. Zach with a little over a hundred and maybe 140 feet to go. From where he is, the basket's right up through that gap there. You can see the edge of the basket behind the tree there. Skip top. Might be a long look at it. He's right there. Nice shot. Zach from 18 to 20 feet. Cleans up his three. Good birdie. Here I am. Cleaning up my three. After that hole, we both take a couple threes. We're doing pretty well so far. And hole six is 276 feet. This one is pretty tricky as you can see. There's lots of that stuff, but it is straight through this gap, just across this creek, and 
yeah, I don't know. There you got a little bit of a backstop. So if you can hit that backstop, you're basically parked. Probably just throw like a mid-range or even a fairway driver on this hole. So that's gonna go with the tournament plastic. Yeah, tournament challenge. Throw a little Swing. riser flip on it and have it ride straight there. If he gets out of the way, we'll see it. He's down there putting. Looks like Scott's gonna try to do the same thing. A little low into the right, but he's got a long putt still. Kind of a funky tee pad to work with here. It's like a three by three, four by four tee pad. And Scott from about, yeah, 40, 45. A little bit of a headwind. Just off the top. Zach from inside the circle, maybe 20 to 25. Sneaks it in there, barely. <laughs> Scott to clean up three. There you go. Hey, take a two on that hole, Scott takes a three. On to the next hole. All right, hole seven is 379 feet. It is kind of tricky, you have a couple lines to choose from. This tree kind of plays in the way of that, so you can either go straight down or around, and the basket is up the fairway. Tuck under the pines. Tuck under the pines down there past that bush thing. I'm gonna go with a VIP long bowman. Yeah, just try to throw it up the middle, have it fade left a little bit. Yep. This hole can be kind of tricky, so. Oh. Turned up a little bit. It did. I lost it to the right a little. Yeah, it'll be a real long putt. Scott is going to go with the same disc. Hopefully his is a little less worn in than mine. There it is. All right, here we are. At least he's got a clean look at it. Zach from probably 55, 60. Just passed it. Dang. I went right behind the chains, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, geez. Yeah, it is a little. On camera, his looked way closer than it actually is. He's got a weird little sidearm putt from probably 50 again. And drains it. Oh my God. That was gross. I nice shot. That, that was awesome. <laughs> that was sick. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Daggers for life. That doesn't happen very often for me. <laughs> Zach saves his three. All right, after that hole, Scott takes a sick throw in two, and I take a par. He now has the tee pad. And hole eight is a par four. It is 560 feet. It is straight down this gap right here. You want to try to just do what you can to get out there, or you just go right here and you just pitch out there. It's kind of the secret cheater line. It would be really cool if they moved this tee pad up to that tree because then you really wouldn't be able to do that. But we're just going to go throw that line since that's available to us right now. Want to try to get out there as much as you can, but flare left is more important. Couldn't really tell if it flared out, but it's, it's out there. Stick. Zach doing some course maintenance. Also has the gladiator and the sword in his hand. He's looking at a sidearm roller with the sword. That's a unique option. Not a bad play. Give you a little roll out. Yeah, I, I feel more confident hitting it this way okay. than throwing it back in. All right, so he's gonna kind of opt for that sidearm roller with the VIP sword. And I do lose it out into the sun, but it's out there and it's out in the middle. And it's a perfect place to throw your upshot from. It's gonna be a long, probably 400 plus foot up shot for us, but still better than taking three shots to get it out of this trail. You're basically playing this hole for a four. If you can get out there far enough, it's much easier to reach it for a three, but it's not something you expect to really three. Zach, again, probably at least close to 400 feet-ish. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw the same sword. You got a little like right to left, so I'm gonna try to- Left to right. Left, yeah. Left, left to right wind. I'm gonna throw it out that way and just kinda have it fade in. There's a green that you gotta try to avoid. I lost it up in the sky, but I'm going to try and follow it as it comes down. There oh. it is, through the branches. Long putt. Long putt from the left side of the, by the trail. Here's Scott. He's, uh, Scott is probably 100 feet, maybe a little further than where my drive was. Looks like he's going to go with the sidearm with the boatman. Oh, he yanked it. Oh, geez. It's, it's hard to follow. Sorry, guys. 
It doesn't look like he's OB. He's bad OB. He yanked it. He's trying to get a little crazy. He doesn't normally throw sidearms all that much. He's getting better though. But that was that was a tough one. Yeah, that was that was unfortunate. All right, here's Scott. Bucket is there. Probably a good, I don't know, 200, maybe a little less. I'm gonna go with the Mercy. Uh, yep, you're in the circle. That was a great shot. Zach has maybe 50, 45, 50 to the basket. Pretty unob unobstructed. Oh, just off the top. Here's Scott for his four, about 20, 25. Nice spot. Zach, to clean up his four from no more than 10 feet, 12 feet, 10 feet, it's in. All right, after that hole, we both take a four. Again, like I was saying, just kind of playing it for a four. If you get a three, it's kind of a bonus on that hole. And hole nine <laughs> is 497. I would say arguably, arguably one of the hardest holes on this course to even three. get a, board, uh, a birdie on as a par three. So it is down this fairway, which is fairly narrow, plays down to the end of that path, and then it goes up there past the path. I don't know, probably like probably 80 feet or so. It's tucked away. It's it's very hard to get. If you're gonna birdie it, you either have to have a massive sidearm or some crazy backhand roller something shot. I don't know. Go with the tournament boatman. Drifting a little. Sounded like it barely hit anything. He's probably gonna have he's probably gonna have a pretty easy upshot from there. Zach, a VIP sword. I'm gonna try to smash it up the middle on a little hyzer. Hope it like rides up and to the right. I don't know. I just wanna get out there. Yep. Just kinda of playing it for a three. It is turning right toward the orange tree. There it is. Great Damn. finish. Well, here's where Scott ended up. It was hard to see on camera, but I guess he got hung up by those trees and just dropped down. It was going to be a tricky upshot, and he can either sidearm through there, buckets right behind all those trees, or sneak a hyzer up there through the sun. Looks like he's going towards the sun. Hard to tell. Maybe you can get up here and see. Kind of saw it at the end. Ah, huh, looks pretty good. Zach, with a rather obstructed. 65 70 footer. Hits the tree solid. Left himself a little bit of work. Zach to save his three. Easy putt. Here you go. Oh, there's where Scott ended up. That's a very, very good shot from where he ended her. Was off his tee. Yeah, just. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Working on legal footing. Yeah.